I am coming to you live from Orange County, California, and I have an amazing topic about how to increase your energy, and it is something that I can guarantee you you're not thinking. This is not the type of energy increase that you've probably ever heard before. So I'm really excited to share it with you. I'm pumped that you're here. So do me a favor and leave me a comment below and just say where you're tuning in from. What state are you tuning in from or what country are you tuning in from? I love to know who's on here and uh, what's up. So I'm really pumped. This is the Fit and Fearless Female Show. If you don't know anything about me, my name is Steph Hendel. I am a certified health coach and certified personal trainer. I also am an emotional and uh, emotional and mindset breakthrough expert, which to me is more important than the health coaching or the personal training. It's all about woo woo, San Antonio, Texas. All right. What's up, Jennifer? Uh, to me, the mindset and the emotional breakthroughs are much more important. I always say that fitness and nutrition is 10% uh, of weight loss. The other 90% is mindset. So that's what I teach. I teach mindset stuff and we get into the really fun things that remove all the limits and all the blocks so that you can have the healthiest, best, health and body ever. So today, on today's show, it's all about how to increase your energy. And by doing this one thing, um, you guys might see, by the way, I have some friends here, so they might pop into the video. I hope that they do so you can meet them. Um, so I'm really excited about it, but I might introduce you to them. So Massachusetts, what's up? Where everyone has a cold today, ooh. Um, Kentucky, woo woo. My fiance Josh is from Kentucky, if you know him. Um, two people from Kentucky, all right. Oh, and Joy's coming in from the UK, holding it down. Thanks, Joy. Woo, I'm so excited that you guys are here. So if you're just joining, let me know where you're watching from. Type it in the comments below. And if you have questions about anything I'm talking on today about increasing your energy, please leave comments, you know, ask tons of questions. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to support you to reach all your health goals. So to me, it's been really coming up in my life, this concept of increasing your energy. I've been getting this question so much from so many different people and they're asking, what can I do to increase my energy? Well, there's a lot you can do, but what I'm here to bring you is information that you probably don't already know. So I'm coming from a mindset angle, I'm coming from an emotional angle, and the way that you can shift your energy is through your mind, of course. So, oh, we got somebody from Santa Barbara, California. What's up, Julia? I'm glad you're here. Yay! So we're shifting it through your mind, but how do you do that? What does that even mean? So we've all heard a story or many stories about somebody who's old or weak or um, not in a mindset or uh, energy level to be able to do any kind of extreme activities. And before I get into that, this is I'm going to be specific about having the energy and the motivation and the inspiration to work out specific. So we can go into other topics too, but I want to be specific on the workout end of things. But we've all heard about these people who are um, energetically weak in their in this moment and they do something unbelievable that requires crazy amounts of energy and everybody's like whoa how did they do that how did you know the story I always reference this but the story about how the grandma lifts a car off of her grandson like we've, we've probably all heard that one and everybody's like how did this weak grandma lift the car, let alone like a strong man, it's hard to lift a car and grandma is lifting it. So you hear these stories and you're like, how does that happen? That's really what shows you what's possible for a human potential that we're really not even tapping into. Um, if she has the strength to lift a car, then you certainly have the strength to get yourself motivated to go to the gym. But it might not be as simple as just doing that. So I'm never gonna give you advice where it's just like, you should be motivated to go work out. I understand that there's a reason why you're not quite motivated to get in that workout or go to the gym or be consistent about it. Maybe you go once, but then you never go again, or you go once every week 
and the consistency element is really what gives you results. So your emotions come from your baseline core state of being. So how you feel about the things that happen to you, how you feel about how people react to you, it's all going to be different from person to person. And so for example, if you're somebody who may have, um, you know, they might have a issue with somebody um, telling them, okay, I'll, here, I'll use a specific example. I'll, let's get super specific about this. So um, one of my main things in life that I've consistently been working through is the feeling of enoughness, which is something that I know that all of us human beings do get to work through too, being good enough, feeling worthy, feeling deserving. And when you're challenged, when you feel that way, when you come from that core state, um, you might feel good going into a situation, but your core state might say, I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I don't deserve it. And when that happens, when you're interacting with another person, you know, you're trying to, you know, prove your worth, your deservingness. And if that person were somebody that you might look up to or respect, and they were to put you down um, and make you feel not good enough, then you go into an emotional state. So, you know, you're feeling it in your whole body and your mind. And when you're experiencing that, that's when you are really tapping into emotion um, and energy. So when your energy feels down and low and sad, um, it's not a coincidence, it's not out of your control, it's something, your energy comes from your emotions. So whatever emotional place you're feeling, you're going to act upon that. So you know the times in your life when you've had, you felt so good, so confident, so healthy and so happy, um, you were on top of the world. Maybe you were on vacation. Maybe you were just at your house. Maybe something great just happened to you. And you were like, yes, let's go work out or go for a run or let's go take a walk or go hike. You felt good. So you wanted to move your body. You wanted to be active. Um, and then we all can think of a time in our lives when something happened that was really sad and uh, upsetting or hurt us or hurt our egos or any part of us and you just felt like the last thing I want to do is a workout. The last thing you are going to convince me to do is go work out at the gym and expend extra energy. So you can see where the place you are emotionally determines how much energy you have to put out to a workout. And this energy increasing tip that I have for you that's really gonna change everything is getting to know your triggers, getting to know yourself better. So through personal development, through understanding you and who you are, you are able to go out into the world differently. You're able to see experiences differently. So instead of the world happening to you, the world is happening for you. Um, an amazing shift in mindset if you ever think things happen to you. So, for example, I was giving the example earlier, um, maybe if I was having a conversation with somebody and I really, really valued their opinion and they kind of were like, you know what, I just don't like that, I don't like what you're saying, I don't like what you're doing, I don't think you're doing a good job, that would immediately trigger the core part of me that grew up not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy, um, not feeling deserving of the best things in life, and it would fire that up, you know, if you could think of it as maybe a light, and maybe the light is really green when you're feeling good and confident, and red when you're not, so imagine that person saying that to me and then that's lighting up that core part of me really red and it's just feeling emotionally heavy and uncomfortable and putting me into a state where I'm like the last thing I want to do is get my butt to the gym or do a workout or whatever because isn't working out treating your body well treating yourself well when you don't feel good about yourself you don't want to treat yourself well so you got to get into a good feeling place more often but the thing that happens here is because I know myself so well 
and I've spent so much time getting to know me, who I am, what my triggers are, what things light me up, what things are really exciting. I'm able to see what's happening in front of me, feel that feeling of r that red light radiating and then go, no, that's not true. It doesn't matter. Like, I can see that I am the only one who gets to determine my emotional state. So I can take what they said and I could say, that's cool. You know, I know I'm doing a great job. So I'm going to go forth with feeling really good right now instead of taking that on and just being like, I can't believe they said that. Is that true? Am I doing a bad job? Do I suck? You know, all these things that might fire up things within me that in the past were um, something that would make me fire up red for a long time. Now it can just fire up really fast and then I can go, you know what? Actually, that's not even a thing. And then I can light up green and then I'm back into my state. So it's, it's not a matter of removing the circumstances or the people or the things because it's life. Life is full of amazing, beautiful challenges but it's how you handle the challenges. So if you're prepared to handle the challenges, you can have this unlimited source of energy. I'm speaking from experience, not just with myself, but with the hundreds of women that I've worked with that are also experiencing this feeling of tapping into their emotional state in such a way that they are able to have this high vibe, high energy feeling consistently. And there might be moments where something snaps up in their life and they're like, oh boy, red. And then they can look at it and they can go, okay, I know myself well enough to know what's happening right now, why I'm feeling how I'm feeling, and to bring it back to green. So it's really having an understanding and awareness of yourself. And really in this day and age, that is what it's all about. You know, we're understanding just how important it is to know us and to be able to take care of other people, we gotta know ourselves first. It's putting that safety mask on, you know, you're on an airplane, you gotta put your mask on before you put the mask on of the person next to you. So put your safety mask on and learn more about yourself, and then you find this unlimited energy source. So I'm gonna read a couple comments really quick and ask away, ask any questions you guys might have about this. Um, I'm totally here. Um, Jordan's from Raleigh, North Carolina. Awesome. So glad you're here. And Amanda says, this has come up bunches lately. Wow, cool. That is such a good sign that it is being presented to you that you're supposed to tap into it. And this is something for your life that can elevate as soon as you put it into play, into action. And it's crazy. I mean... I know what you guys are talking about. I, I understand what is going on. I experience life on a daily basis with you guys. And I have so many things that will pop up into my life to trigger me because I have so many triggers from the past. But the difference between the past and now is that I, I can take a trigger and create something really good with it. I can create growth and uh, unlimited opportunities for myself with it, where in the past, I would only create restriction and constriction. So I would send myself into a not good state. And the place of really getting the results you want, permanent results, consistent results, is tapping into your emotions and tapping into your mindset. And um, I find that not enough people are doing this. Not enough people are spending enough time. Um, everybody is thinking that they're supposed to spend time on workouts and healthy food. And that stuff is amazing and it is so important. I really believe in all of it. But first you gotta tap into your mindset and start learning about you and understanding you and yourself because it's the foundation, it's the baseline, you know? You might wonder why uh, you have a yo-yo um, system in your life of like, oh, I worked out, I'm working out a lot, and then, oh, no, I'm not working out at all, and I gained a lot of weight back, or now I lost a bunch of weight, and now it's back, and then I lost it again, and I lived that yo-yo diet lifestyle. 
I get it. I know what that's like. It sucks. It totally sucks because you can't count on anything. And there is no consistency with it. And it's like, you just are hoping, oh, please let this be a good week instead of a bad week. And it doesn't have to be like that. You can have consistency. You can hit the easy button. You can put your health and fitness on autopilot. And that comes from being good to yourself and knowing yourself, understanding yourself. Um, that's what Body Built by Love is. So um, if you're building your body with love, you're building a really healthy body. We've all seen people who have bodies that are not built by love. <laughs> and they can look fit and they can look healthy, but you know there's something about them where you're like, no, like something doesn't look healthy and something doesn't seem healthy. Um, and it's when you're building your body from a place of like, I hate myself, which is why I'm going to the gym, as opposed to a body built by love, which is I love myself, so I'm going to the gym. Huge difference. Um, it's a huge difference in the amount of fun you have while you're there, because it can be really fun. You know, fitness is super fun. Fitness is one of the most fun things. Your body was made to move. You're designed to move. It's what you're here to do, and we sit a lot. So the opportunity to get up and get moving should excite the heck out of you. And if it's not exciting you, that just means that your mindset gets to shift. It's not hard or challenging or weird. It's just like, you just get to shift it. Um, I'm gonna see, I think. I'm gonna read this comment. <laughs> Amanda says, the idea of self-worth being the key piece of our commitment to improved health. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, Amanda. I believe it. I believe it is the essential key. Uh, I have myself and hundreds of other women to prove how important this is and how powerful it is in transforming lives and bodies and everything. It's so exciting. That's why I make these videos for you guys. This is why I'm so dedicated to showing up every day on social media having um, posts and making videos every Monday at three. And it's because it, it's everything, it's everything. And I hate seeing women and men to struggle with their bodies and their health and feel like it's gotta be hard, cause it doesn't. If, you're, if it's hard, you're doing it wrong. And I did it wrong for a really long time. So I know, I know what it's like and I know the difference. <laughs> There's a huge difference there. Um, yeah, I hate seeing people struggle with it. It sucks and it's not even necessary. So, you know, my purpose on this earth is to share that message with you guys. So whatever I can to do it, I'm gonna do it. If it can make somebody's life easier, that's my point, that's my purpose. So let me read some more comments here. Ryan says, yes, love it when you show up. Ryan, hey, I'm so glad you're here, yay. I agree. Amanda says, do you have a good way to incorporate mindset info, oh, into, do you have a good way to incorporate mindset into the movement? I do, I have a really good way. And I have a nine minute workout challenge where you do nine minute workouts every day for 28 days with me. And they're not normal workouts. They, yes, you are moving your body, uh, building muscle, burning fat, but while you do that, you are shifting your mind. So I'm coaching you, basically. I'm, I've been trained as a coach. Uh, for the last five years of my life, that's been what I do. I coach people. So when I'm doing these workouts, I'm like, I can't have you just do a workout. You, I'm gonna coach your mind through it so it's fun, so it's um, enjoyable, so it's something that you wanna keep doing and you wanna do again and again and again and again because that's how it should feel. So sometimes it's just as simple as doing a couple of the workouts with the mindset shifts and then you apply them and then it's like, boom, cool, this is awesome. I'm gonna just keep doing it. Um, so that I would highly suggest. Um, let me see, let me reread your question. Do you have a good way to incorporate mindset into the movement? So did I answer your question with that, Amanda? I just wanna make sure that was what you were asking. Um, yeah, it's essential. I mean, I never work out without mindset stuff. It's one, it's more fun. 
And two, it makes a much better result on your body. Guys, do you know what happens to your body when you are positively loving on yourself while you work out? Totally different, way faster results, way better, healthier look. I'm telling you, you're, there is scientific research that shows that your cells react to your thoughts. And so every thought you think is being absorbed by your cells and is creating your body, which is the basis of why I call my course Body Built by Love. Um, so you are building positive, beautiful, loving thoughts about yourself. And let me let you in on a secret too, if you haven't already figured this out. The reason I created Body Belt by Love and I'm so passionate about it is because I didn't love myself. I didn't like anything about me. I was so hard on myself. I was so mean. Uh, I would look in the mirror and of course those thoughts still pop up for me from time to time. But as we talked about earlier, now I have an efficient way of when they pop up, I'm like, that's not real, that's not true. And then moving on with that continual positive mindset. But before I didn't have that and I was suffering, I was really struggling in my life um, because yeah, I didn't like me. I didn't love me. The things I would say to myself in my mind that my cells were eavesdropping on was horrible and my body reflected that. I, yeah, um, you know, it's like some of the, the things that we think in our minds, we would never, ever, ever say to another human being. They're so mean, you know? It's like, but we say them to ourselves. And um, so it's hugely important to get out of that place. We've been brought up and taught how to be critical, hypercritical of ourselves, um, unloving, and it's not necessary. We can remove all that. Like you get to just love yourself and you get to just be deserving of all the best things in the world and you get to have it all. And that's how it is. That's the new mindset. That's the mindset where you can really create anything and you're totally limitless because you are. So let me read some more questions. Um, Amanda said, yep. Okay, good. Glad I answered that. Ryan says, body built by love. Digging that concept. Thanks, Ryan. Sometimes the voice in our head is worse than anything external. That is so true. Oh my gosh. The voice in our heads can be crazy. Um, I was reading this book recently. Let me know if any of you guys have ever read this. It's called The Untethered Soul. And it's an amazing book. It is fantastic. Um, but one of the things that they tell you about in the book is, um, we, well, it talks about the mind um, and how you have this voice that's always talking in your head, which it initially is just like, wow. And it tells you to sit with this voice and do things throughout the day just with an awareness of listening to the voice. So you, it tells you at one point to sit on the couch like you're watching TV and just hear this voice. And um, she gives an example of like somebody, you think to yourself, oh my gosh, did I leave the light on downstairs? Oh no, okay, um, no, it's all right. And then you start to guilt yourself like, shoot, if I did leave it on, then it's gonna run up the electric bill and geez. And then you start to think about another thought of like, oh, what did that person say about me earlier? Was that even true? And then you start to like, and they say, isn't it amazing and just crazy um, if we were to think about this voice as another human being, you would be like, this person is nuts. Like they need to go into some kind of uh, psychiatric ward because they're like thinking about this and then they're thinking about this and then they're saying that and then they're being judgmental and then they're being mean and then they're doing this. and. It is just this endless, constant, weird cycle of thoughts. And that's how most of our brains run us, not us running our brains. So you should be running your brain, not your brain running you. If your brain is running you, then it's time to really invest in some personal development and probably take the Body Book by Love course because it's going to change your body while it's changing your mindset and tell you how to get out of that mean state because you really deserve the best. You deserve great, fantastic, wonderful things. Um, since it's starting to get dark and I didn't set up any lights, I think that that will be the end of today's show. But I thank you guys so much for joining me. And of course I'll be here 
next Monday at 3 o'clock every Monday. And you can catch all of the past episodes on my YouTube channel. Make sure you go there and subscribe. It's youtube.com backslash Steph Hendel. I have a private Facebook group here on Facebook called Body Built by Love Family. It's private, so just request access and I'll get you in there. And that's daily motivation and inspiration and things that will just get you feeling your best. A lot of mindset shifting because that is a huge part of um, what I believe is the key to life and the key to success in every area of your life. Um, and then on Instagram, make sure you're following me because I post some fun Instagram stories with recipes and a lot of inspiring stuff there too. So thank you for being here. I love you so much. You're amazing. You deserve the best. Don't ever let your mind or anybody else tell you anything else. Um, you deserve a healthy body. You deserve a healthy relationship. You deserve a healthy career and everything else. So see you guys later. You're awesome. Bye.